Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays. This is where we look at some of the trickier questions you might have when it comes to money, and we draw out the answers. You get it? Bad joke. Anyway, I'm Taylor Blackburn. I'm a personal finance specialist here at Finder. Now, before we jump in, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Have you heard of Bitcoin? Maybe you know all about it, or perhaps you have heard the word, but as far as you're concerned, it could be a, a type of bread or a newfangled game the kids are playing. A study by Finder reveals that 25% of Australians now own cryptocurrency or plan to own it by the end of 2021. And thanks to its increasing value, inflation hedging, and FOMO, or fear of missing out, these are just some of the reasons the digital currency is surging down under. In this video, I'm going to break down what Bitcoin is and what all the fuss is about. So first things first, what even is Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is the world's most well-known cryptocurrency. If cryptocurrency was a streaming service, Bitcoin would be Netflix. It was the first established one and it was rolled out, believe it or not, only in 2008. Cryptocurrencies are digital tokens that have value, just like a $10 note is a physical token that happens to be worth $10. Now, right now, our money only has value because our governments say so. But governments can also print a lot of money and make it worth less. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have value because they're on a distributed ledger called a blockchain. Now, it's called that because data is added on the ledger like a block and it can't be deleted, like another block being chained to another block. Still with me? Also, everyone can see the transaction, so there's no worry about the centralized authority saying a transaction didn't happen. In order for cryptocurrency to have value, a coin needs to be unique and unreplicable. The Bitcoin blockchain was the innovation that made this possible. Now, Bitcoin mining is another kettle of fish altogether, but suffice it to say that the more people that are doing it, the harder it becomes. So, there are only ever gonna be 21 million Bitcoin and 18 million of them have already been mined. So in 10 years, 18 million. So how many years will it take to mine the remaining 2.3? How about 120? So in 2140, the last Bitcoin is projected to be mined. So why is Bitcoin so popular? Well, in November 2015, one Bitcoin was worth about $450. Fast forward to today, one is worth about 74,000. So almost half, 45% of cryptocurrency investors said they purchased the digital currency because of its skyrocketing value. So if you're interested in buying Bitcoin, how do you do it? Well, you'll need to choose an exchange to buy it from, set up an account, make a deposit, and start buying. We've got a guide comparing exchanges, so have a look at that in the description below. Now, Bitcoin seems set to continue its accelerated rise, and Australians are embracing it like never before. In fact, in March 2021, the average number of confirmed Bitcoin transactions per day over a 30-day period was 330,000. Now, just remember, if you do make money from any cryptocurrency, capital gains and income are fully taxed. If you wanna compare Bitcoin, Check out the links in the description below. And if you wanna see more Whiteboard Wednesdays, hit subscribe right here. We've collated all this information from a nationally representative survey of more than a thousand Australians and some stats and facts on cryptocurrency. To see the data, you can check out the details below. If you have any questions, you can get at us at hashtag finderwhiteboardwednesday and we'll get right back to you.